Hey guys, so I know some of you were having a little bit of trouble with the uh, match equations to coordinate graphs Khan Academy. So I thought I would go ahead and show you my own video of this. So the first thing that we're looking for when we're matching the equations here is that we need uh, to look for the coefficient in the equation. So the one that is touching the x or multiplying by the x. So in this first one, it's y equals 3x, meaning that that slope or the coefficient is 3. Uh, on the second equation, it's y equals 2x plus 2. We're not worried about this right now. We're worried about the coefficient here, the one touching the x. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick any two uh, points on this line. I'm going to pick these two just because it's nice and easy right there. And I am actually going to look to see uh, how much it is between the two points is going up or down, so the rise, and I'm going to put that on the top of the fraction, uh, over the run, which is how much it's going to the right. So if you take a look here, hopefully I can draw, this is going up two spots, one, two, and then that would be the top of my fraction, and then the bottom of my fraction would be the run. So in this case, it goes over one, so that equals one. When you simplify that, you're going to get... 2 over 1 simplifies to 2. So my equation is going to be something like y equals 2x. And then if you are looking to see what that second, the plus or minus something over here, sometimes there won't be anything here at all. And the way that you can tell that is if you look over at the y-intercept, or the, the dot that's on the y-axis, that will tell you if there's anything being added or subtracted. In other words, it's kind of like if you make $5 a day for taking out the trash, that would go here. And then let's say that you got an initial amount of $20 from your grandma for your birthday, that would go on the y-axis. So this is actually going to be plus two, and it just happened to be that those are the same numbers. It's not, that was just a coincidence. So for this one, my answer would be B. Okay. All right. So let's try the next question here. All right, which graph represents y equals 2x plus 1? Well, we need to find something that shows uh, that it's going up 2 over 1. This one right here is 2 over 1. So if I look at A, this one's going up 1 over 2. Nope, it's not going to be A. All right, and then let's look at B. Uh, this one here, I'm going to choose these two points because I like that. It's going up 2 over 1. Yeah, that does give us that. But then we need to, uh, so the rise is 2, the run is 1. That does give us a coefficient of 2. But then the question is, where is it on the y-axis? Um, and you might be like, Mrs. Miller, I don't understand how there's such a big space between these two points here, but then these two aren't. So I'll show you what happens if you choose a different two on here. So let's say that I chose this one. It's going, um, I kind of messed that up. It's going, I'll do it with a different color so you can see it better. It's going up from three to seven. So that went up four, and then it's going over one, two, yeah, so it went up 4 over 2. What does 4 over 2 simplify to? Ah, exactly. It simplifies also to 2. So we got the exact same answer there. Um, so I think the key here is to look at the other ones and see if they have a... Um, 
coefficient of 2 like this problem does. And then if they don't, we know which answer to pick. Ah, here, C. I'm going to choose these two. It goes up 1 over 2. Well, that's 1 over 2. That's 1 half. That's not it. So our answer in this case is going to be B. All right. Let's try another one here. It says, which equation describes this one? So I can start right down here. This is starting at 0, so I know the y-intercept, the second number, is going to be not there. It's just going to be something with x. So let's start here. I'm going, let me grab my drawing tool. I'm going up 4. So that's my top number. And I'm going over 1, 2. 4 over 2, we just happen to keep, get, our answer keeps being a coefficient of 2. I think that's just uh, a coincidence in this case. So I know that I'm going to have a 2 with my x. Now down here it's wrong because it's not the coefficient with the x. So it would be a. All right. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a better idea of what this is supposed to look like and hopefully you can do it on your own. Let me know if you have questions.